Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. So I'm here with a, another Booklist Thursday. Booklist Thursday is what I something I do with Sarah over at Sarah's Nightstand. We come to you every Thursday with some sort of book thoughts, ideas, and recommendations. So today is our five-star prediction follow-up. I'm so excited to be here because I had a really great five-star prediction round. Loving it. Um, we teamed up with Caitlin over at Bandy's Books this time and we decided to pick kind of our backlist, like older books that we've had sitting on our shelves for a while. Um, so the three that I grabbed, um, first one I want to talk about is Emmett in the Night. This was my lowest rated one. I gave it four stars. And that's only because I feel like it could be forgettable to the point where I'm like, I've kind of already forgotten pieces of it. Um, but still a really good story. And this is one of the first book of the month books that I purchased forever ago when I started book of the month. So definitely needed to be read. It was about time. And so this one follows two sisters and they pretty much just disappear one night and really very little evidence, very little trace of what happened to them. Where did they go? What's been going on? And I want to say it's like three years have gone by and one of the sisters returns. And we go from there and we start learning about what exactly happened. Really enjoyed it again. I gave it four stars. It was a good book. Uh, then the next one I picked up was Magic Hour by Kristen Hanna. Five star read. I am just continuously reminded as to why I love Kristen Hanna so much every time I pick up one of her books. So this one again set in the Pacific Northwest. Um, we have a town that sits right on the edge of Olympic National Forest. And so there's millions of acres of really impenetrable forest that people have not even been around. And from deep within this forest, a six-year-old girl appears, speechless and alone. She offers no clue as to her identity or a hint of her past, where she's come from, who she is, who she belongs to. There's nothing. So we get introduced then to Dr. Julia Cates. She is a child psychiatrist. Um, she is kind of running away from a scandal that has potentially killed her career. Um, and she meets this child and is absolutely determined to help her. Um, and it goes through what, what they have to go through and what is learned and where they go from there. And it's fantastic. Kristen Hanna is just fantastic. I can't recommended enough five stars and then the final one i picked up summer's child by diane chamberlain love me some diane chamberlain and again this is a book um that was picked up in Asheville with the book two besties and so that's one of the first kind of our one of our first trips one of the first rounds of books i've gathered while hanging out with these ladies and that's why i picked this one as well as we kind of made a promise to send this one off to each other <laughs> to read and I never read it and sent it along so I need to I need, this needs to go out in the mail today anyway so this one um takes place in North Carolina we have um Daria she's celebrating her 11th birthday and so she goes out to the beach and discovers a what she's calling a gift from the sea it's an abandoned newborn baby um when the identity identity of the baby cannot be figured out she is adopted by Daria's family and completely taken in. And Daria has this just unbelievable connection to this baby. 20 years later, Shelly, who's the baby, she's grown into an unusual young woman whom Daria continues to protect wholeheartedly. Um, and then we have Rory Taylor is a friend from Daria's childhood and now a television producer returns at Shelley's request to do a story about the circumstances surrounding her birth and to find her parents, honestly. Something precarious shifts in this small town and the more questions that are asked, the more questions people tend to have. So again, Diane Chamberlain always knocks it out of the park for me. There are parts in this book I did not see coming added drama, added intrigue, added suspense. It, it was so fantastic. It was just a good message. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. So it was great. I gave it five stars. Are we not surprised? So pretty decent round of five star predictions. One four star, two five stars. I got some books off of my backlist and read this one's going to be leaving the house. I'm not sure who to send it to. Who do you think should get it? Krista, Amanda, or Sarah? Hmm. give me your vote let me know um 
Otherwise, head over to Sarah's channel and see how she did with her five star predictions as well as Bandy's books. I will leave links below, see how she did with her predictions. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye.